Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very exciting video to share with you all. I have $4 Michael grab bags to share with you. So I have two small boxes, three large boxes, and then one other bundle of items over here. So six total grab bags to share with you. And I am so excited to go through all of these. We are gonna go through them together and be surprised with what's inside. I'm a little bit nervous about what's inside. I know I will at least get my money back, but I'm just hoping there's some good items that I can personally use and that it's not just all stuff that I'm gonna have to end up getting rid of and getting it out of my home because I can't use it. So if you have never heard of these Michael's grab bags before, at different points throughout the year, they take their marked out clearance items, they put them in boxes or bags, and then they throw a $4 sticker on them and then you can purchase them. So some stores will have more, some will have less. It just depends on what they have left over after the season, but it's just a surprise as to what's inside. I've heard of some stores will even let you go in and fill your own bag or box. So it's just different everywhere that you go, but that is them. I'm just like explaining a little bit about them to you so that you can understand better what they are and what we're going to be looking at today. So I hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you do, please hit that like button, please comment, and please subscribe to see more videos like this one. And we will go ahead and get started in the boxes. Found these, and so you'll be able to be able to get them right away before the video comes out. So these boxes are pretty much all going to be Christmas items. Uh, this is my one child who is not sleeping right now. <laughs> so, first off, I will just show you. These are $2, $2 each original price. These burgundy bows. It's right on top. Oh, are you helping? Here is a pick. This was $1.99. That's pretty cute. Oh, I like this one. This one was $5.99. This one doesn't have a price. <laughs> this baby is being very helpful. This was $4.99 with a little cotton on there. Here's an ornament for somebody with the name starting with an X. <laughs> that was $8. This is, oh, he's not letting that go. But, oh, I like this. This is a antler. I picked up some of these from Walmart on clearance. This was $4.99. There's several of these, like my son is holding. I think he may be holding a broken one. They're stuck together, but there's four of them here. They are $5.99 each. These are gold colors. Another one of those bird picks. Another bird pick, another bird pick. <laughs> Just pulling all the bird picks out now. And then here's another pick. This one was $18. I feel like maybe this is missing something because I don't really see this being $18. But there's that. The branches look nice. They look like they're real branches. This is something I saw from the top. <laughs> My dog would never wear this. And I don't even think it would fit on her head. But I thought that was interesting. I don't think it says a price on here. So, here are some glass ornaments. This says $10. That's an eight piece in gold. Oh, yeah, these are two and a half inch ornaments. And then here's another one of the same thing $8, uh, $10, eight piece in red. And this one. Hard to tell in the lighting, but it looks like a really light gold color. A six piece, and those are bigger ones. A pine cone pick. I like that too. Oh, here's one of those blue ones. This they were $3.99. I don't know what that came off of. <laughs> Got some extra pieces in here. Okay, 
Okay, so there are three cookie cutters. Yeah. These were $2 each, a couple gingerbread men, and a reindeer, it looks like. Another gingerbread man. Here are some cards. These were $15, 16 cards with envelopes. Whoops, I'm showing you the wrong side. And then that one has snowmen. This one has um, a sleigh sled on it. Same price. And then, oh, getting glitter everywhere. And then you've got an angel. Another one of those ornaments with a V. That's in a good spot. Okay. My husband's here helping me, so if you hear me talking yeah. to him, it's because he's making sure everything is, you can see everything in the camera. These are those um, cinnamon scented pine cones, but these could be used as decor, decor too. So these were $6 each. I have, I have two of these so far. Um, it doesn't say how many are in there. Some candy canes. <laughs> you have a candy cane and you have a candy cane. Okay, this was $2.99. It is a white pick. Doesn't look like it'll last until next year as far as the white fuzz on it. And then I got this giant container of red plastic ornaments. This was $30, has 35 pieces. Can you see that? Okay. Some ornament hooks and oh, pencils. It says crayons on there, which must be pencils in another language. So I got confused for a second, but Christmas pencils. Oh, these are cute. Oh. Reds and whites make merry nights. <laughs> Two packs of napkins. These were $4. 24 in each. This is just the one my son was holding, I think. Another thing of candy canes. Alright, sit down, baby. Another reindeer ornament. Here's another reindeer antler. This one is not glittery. That one was $4.99. And then a white pick. That looks like it's seen better days. Second box, we're gonna open one of the small ones now. They put plenty of tape on here because I guess they don't want you looking inside of it. Okay, let's see. Here we have a advent calendar. I don't see how much it is, but it is good until after next Christmas. So, it has chocolate on the inside. Here, we have a, it's like a merry-go-round. Oh, you can see it on that side. I don't see a price on this side. Oh, $20. It is a winter carousel. It looks like it has little paper pieces in it. Can you see that in the... Looks like it has little paper pieces in it where you put together a carousel and you could use, I think you could use these different pieces for other crafts if you wanted to do that as well. We have another thing of candy canes that he's now claimed as his own. These are, it's another one where it's hard to tell if it's really gold or silver. It's a really light gold if it's gold and those were $10. Another thing of cards, these say Merry Christmas and have Santa on them. This was $8 for 16 cards. A roll of ribbon. This is wired ribbon. 125 feet. Can you see that? Okay. And that was $15. And then there is Looks like three things of garland in here. These were $6 each, nine feet of garland. So there are three of those. They look like the same thing for each of them. Yep, they're all the same kind. 
So that is it for box number two. All right, so one of my grab bags was this bundle of five ornaments. These are gold. You might not be able to see the color quite right, but there is a matte gold, a glitter, a shiny gold, and then there's also these really cool clear gold tinted bulbs. So I have five of these. There is a hundred pieces in each one, and these retailed for $20 each. So here you can see them a little bit better, I think. So this was a good deal here. All right, now opening up box number three, we will see what's inside this larger box. Like I said, I have three of these large ones and then I had two of the small ones. Ooh. Yeah, I like this box. Oh, yes! Okay. I'm excited about this box. Okay, so first off, I'll start with some of the things that I'm not as excited about. Another thing of candy canes. We have two more advent calendars. I might just let my kids do these now because um, they were excited about my boxes too and wanted something from the boxes. Here's another one of those ornaments with a V. I think you could probably like scrape this off and put your own letter on there or something to personalize it if you ended up getting some of those. I really, really like this ribbon. This was $15 and it is 25 feet of three and a half inch ribbon. That good spot. Um, I, it has a really nice feel. It's a nice like flannel ribbon with that uh, plaid. And then here's another plaid ribbon. This is also 25 feet, was also $15. And both of those had wired edges on them. Here is another set of bulbs. This is a 10 piece for $10. And then here is an eight piece for $10. And here is another eight piece red for $10. I like this pick. This looks really good. It has two different things on it. Okay, $5.99. This one's a nice one because the branches look really uh, like they're real. And so that is a nice one. And then another one of these. Another one of these antlers. Here we have some more picks, sorry, 99 cents and $1.99 for these picks. And then another ten, uh, eight piece for $10. These are like a brighter gold color. Another cookie cutter. The cookie cutter is worth $2 each. This is what I'm excited about. I asked my husband to find me some metal houses and this looks so cool. So this retailed for $70. Can you see it in there? I like this. I think that's the back side of it. This is the front side. You can see, I'll show you all of the sides. So $70, it has these holes in the bottom where you can put um, lights inside of them. So I may use this at I may use this now, so we shall see what I will do with it, but I'm excited to have it. I was hoping I would get some of those. And then I got another pine cone pick, and then I got one, two, three more of these garlands. And these are, they were $6, and these are nine foot garlands, you can see. So I think I have six of those now. So garland for days. And that's everything in this box. Okay, so box number four, we're gonna do another small box. So this one has more ornaments. So we have some more, these look like a rose gold color. And some more red. And then some more of these nice picks. I really, like I said before, I like these picks because the branches look real. So this one was $18. I 
I don't think it actually is missing anything. I think um, they were just trying to get $18 for it. And then this one here is longer and it's missing the price, but I'm assuming it was probably about $18. This one has these little pine cones and I do think it might be missing something here, it looks like. And then these are some, looks like two different garlands. They're just kind of tangled together. I think it's two. All right, I can't tell. So it's one or two. And this was $12.99, five feet. And it has these shiny and sparkly and like more of a matte red beads on it and falling off of it. <laughs> we have another ribbon here. This is 100 feet, two and a half inches. Looks like it's wired. And it was $15. Kind of a glittery red color. Candy canes. Those don't really say a price on them. Two more advent calendars. And then we have two more garlands. So again, the same garlands for $6. They're nine feet green garlands. And that is everything in this box. Okay, so here is the last box. This seems to be the heaviest of them all. So we shall see what is so heavy inside of it. Saved it for last because it was heavy. All right, so we have another thing of pine cones with that cinnamon smell to them. Here is a basket of those cookie cutters. There's a star shape or a snowflake shape. We haven't seen that one before. I don't know if we've seen this one before. And I think we've seen the rest of these. So there's several of them in there. And then this basket, the baskets, were $15 and I got two of those some more advent calendars four more of those here are some sticker rolls these were three dollars they were probably in with like stocking stuffer items or something this has 48 pieces in it there are five of those and then this sign is super cute. This was $16. It's a metal. It says Holly Jolly Ave on it. I don't know if you can see it. Holly Jolly Ave. And then another garland. Here is some Hanukkah wrapping paper. It's five dollars. Twenty inches by twelve feet. Another one of those picks. This was five ninety nine. Here's the front of it. it. Has just some different greenery in it. Some bakery tags. These are like. This was three dollars. These are to add on to. I think home baked goods like gift tags. <laughs> Two more candy canes. This, we have this basket. This was $10, a snowman basket. Can you see that in there? I got one spring item. <laughs> This may be the only non-Christmas item I have gotten in this entire set of boxes. So one spring item, $4. There you go. This is perfect for this time of the year. <laughs> okay, so then another pick, $3. This is like those styrofoam beads. Oh, we got another, $2 for these little roses. One more spring item. This one I think is Christmas. Nope, it's spring. Red flowers. Hey, we hit the jackpot in this box. 
And then we have this garland. Let's see if I can find the end of it. This garland was $30. I think it may have seen better days, but <laughs> it does have, I think I dropped something. What did I drop? Oh, you dropped something. So this garland has different holly, not a huge um, amount of greenery on it. Oh, I like this garland. This, um, it's kind of, it looks like it's missing some pieces, but this was $20. It's definitely missing some throughout here. They may or may not be in this box, but these are really pretty. It's a nice, um, lighter gold color. Some more of these little ball. These are in silver. One of these that goes kind of around a candle or something. This is seven dollars. Oh, that's fine. All right, some random little garland pieces. This is white and red and silver. These were thirty dollars, a thirty-five piece. We have a wreath hook for $9.99. This one says Noel. It's a nice sturdy metal hook. And then I found what is so heavy. There are two of these metal Christmas trees. This one was $35 for this green one. Can you see it there? There we go. Sideways. $35 for this one in green. And then this white one, I really like this one. This one was also $35 metal. And then one more star. So now I have two of these stars. All right, so that is everything I found. Thank you all so much for watching today. I hope you have enjoyed this Michael's Grab Bag video. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.